Welcome back, dear listeners. Here we are with a new story of a cheating wife. So let's begin the story. M28, I had my first girlfriend when I was 21 and she was the first person I slept with too. I loved her, we got engaged, married, and moved in together over a 6.5 year relationship. I started getting suspicious of her and one of her co-workers, who was extremely clingy towards her. There were many red flags, which I ignored as this woman was the love of my life and my wife. Why would she do anything so bad? But the suspicions kept building as more and more red flags appeared. I confronted her about these things, like him and her messaging constantly. I saw many messages from him to her with rows of heart emojis, like how she would always fantasize about going places with him over me, even when I specifically asked if we, me and her, could go together. She took him to a bird park that I loved to go to, she had him over for one night when I was away, and the bedsheets were in the washing machine when I got home. I had enough on New Year's when she was purposefully being distant from me, like I was a bad guy or I had done something wrong. I took her phone and found her messages with him that night, confessing to each other how much they loved each other. Obviously, I felt destroyed, but fools attempted to keep our relationship going. I found they had been s asterisk sting each other a few weeks afterwards as well, and after a massive argument, she promised to change. Fool me. They continued their thing until August, when I found them out again. Before then, there had been instances where she was purposefully distant to me, and lo and behold, it was because she was doing things with him. Suspicion crept up again as she went to the gym three to four times a week, but only had one gym outfit in the wash by the end of it, and she never was tired or did her fitness change. I demanded a divorce when I found out that she had named a star after him for his birthday, which was just a week or so before mine. I had enough. She lied to friends and family about what had happened, stating that we were just getting distant and wanted different things. I retaliate by throwing everything on a Facebook post, including her confessions about the other guy, the name of the star purchase, and photos of them out on trips, which I had no clue about. I will admit this is not my best moment, probably not fair either. After the divorce, I said I never wanted to hear or speak to her again, this was around two years ago, from the time of posting, and in that time she has messaged me twice, both times I have completely ignored. But I keep the evidence of what she did safe, just in case she tries anything. Honestly, for my first real relationship, it was a roller coaster. For months later, for days before Christmas, I lost my job and my house and moved back into my mother's. A few years later, I'm back on my feet, with a new job, looking for a new house, and getting back into my karate. I'm in a kata squad now and back in touch with lots of friends. Stuffer, I'm so much happier now. So the story ends here. I hope you liked this video, and if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more stories and updates.